Hey, God bless. So, I need mail. For the first time in years, I attempted general delivery again. Um, the SOBs will not give me my mail, which... It's CBD oil, which is actually helping. I found a brand that actually is helping. So sadly, it's not like, hey, I'm, I'm back to normal, man. I'm getting you get a job and life is good. It's, um, I can be on my feet a hair longer. I can be at a stop light and, and hold down the brake pedal with one foot instead of two. Um, but hey, it's been really, it's been awesome. And the SOB post office won't give it to me. Why? Why? Because it has the effing street address. It has it has general delivery. It has my name. It's not that it's missing information. It's not that the package has wrong information. But because it has the street address, they won't give it to me. And so far, they haven't sent it back to her either. So they're fucking keeping me from medicine that helps me. And I've tried other stuff. A lot of things seriously does not work with my body. My body either freaks out or it's just like, Psh, whatever. I tried extract oil last year. Didn't do anything. This stuff actually works. And there's no carriers um, in Cali. I've been on their website. Like, no place carries this brand out here. Um, it's actually like a couple states away where <laughs> if I would go pick it up, I would have to go states away. Um, this is such bullshit. Absolute bullshit. I hate the post office. And I hate the fact that people are okay with denying people mail. Like, why is it such a crisis? Like, the, um, the one that works best for me out here, they're so nasty. Um, the one... Um, Rose is an absolute psychopath. She lies. She screams. Um, I would get mail sent there three, maybe four times a year. I'd come there like the day it would come in. Um, she's an absolute psychopath. She is so nasty. She repeatedly threatened not to give me my mail. Um, she, last time I was there, she was actually screaming at me. Um, doing these ludicrous lies. Even she went, she left the building, went to check my car because some idiot had come in screaming, who's up, um, who's parked in the handicapped spot? And it's like, well, that's me, and I'm not a, I, I am disabled. There is a sticker. If there's not, I forgot to put it up, but I am permanently disabled, have every right to be there. And she's like, F you, no, you don't. Um, but then I come across this with older people. They're like just... They really think they're the only handicapped people in the world. I've been cussed out more than once for parking in a handicapped spot, even though I'm in far worse shape than they are, even though I have a sticker up. Um, they'll start cussing me out. It's like, what the fuck? Um, but yeah, she actually lied. The postmaster came out. She lied more. She was screaming at me in front of like oh, this room full of people. Um... And then the postmaster refused me service until she saw my car, which I was already having a really bad day. It was obvious I was having a bad day. I was not moving well. And, um, yeah, she actually demanded to see my vehicle. So we go out, and there, there, there it's hanging. Very obviously hanging. Um, it was a handicap sticker. I'm like, well, would you like me to take it out of my car so you can, like, get a really good close look at it to see that it is... It is legit to see that it is, you know, it's there. Would you like my license to, so you can like compare the numbers to my license? To which she's like, no. And I kept calm the whole time. I wasn't swearing or yelling. I was just like, what the hell? Like, what is going on? To which the postmaster, instead of apologizing, instead of having the psycho apologize, she actually started yelling at me telling me I better watch the way I talk. I'm like, excuse me, your worker is screaming at me. I, I like, I just collapsed in my car. I was like, what the? But, so yeah, I have gone years. Ow, what the hell was that? I've gone years without um, getting mail. I just get stuff when I can. And even when I've been at friends, um,
um, I had one stuff sent. I was near friends. I had it sent to them um, in this SOB. And it was, like, sent to my friend, you know, with my name. So you knew to, like, she knew to give it to me. Everything was correct on it, but her psycho neighbor, quote, best friend, because I'm like, where that is it? It should have been here, like, <laughs> nearly two weeks ago. Like, what the hell is going on? And she's like, let me talk to my friend. And, um, yeah, this woman, instead of matching up the mail address with the post address, instead of just doing her job, uh, she didn't recognize my name. So she wouldn't, she refused, she refused to deliver it. She refused to put it in general delivery, and she refused to return it to the sender. She just threw it under the counter. She's like, well, I don't know really what to do with it. Oh, my gosh, you effing B. You know, oh, I'm so tired of psychotic post office people who refuse to do service. And even when you have it correct, or, oh, oh my gosh, you have it too correct, they refuse to give you your mail. It's, it's terror, man. I mean, and now I'm being refused to, like, medicine that's actually helping me. For the first time, I actually have something fucking helping me, and I can't receive it. It's not right. And it really sucks. Cause I really can feel myself crashing. My words are getting worse again. Like, finding words, talking. My pain is increasing so bad.